Okay, what's up guys, we're in 1092 here giving a review of the latest pay-per-view by WWE Battleground. I like this first off by saying that I don't think it was a good pay-per-view and I'm really glad I did not spend the money on it. I'll watch clips of it online, watch the matches, but that's all. I have not bothered paying for the pay-per-view, which I, for one, think is a great deal waste of money considering the poor quality of it. Okay, we'll start off with a pre-show, basically because... Um, the, ma the match on that was uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Damien Sandow. I forgot his name now. But let's not do that again. <laughs> but basically, um, Ziggler got the win, and I don't think Ziggler should have got the win. I think Sandow really needs a win, simply because he's held on money in the bank and will eventually challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship of when he gets, or well, when he wants to. Um, I really don't think that was a pre-show match. I, sh I think it should have been in the main card, simply because in the, on the main card there was Greg Cali and Santino versus the Real Americans. And that's more of a pre-show match. But actually, I was surprised how this match turned out. I'm not going to spoil anything, but let's just say there's a big shock in there. Um, Real Americans got the win, of course, but there's something in there you really want to see. I'm not going to tell you what. Um, just watch the video if you can find it, and I really recommend it. And that, that should have been the pre-show match, really. Um, Ziggler and his main event, and Damien Sanders class the main event, since he's got the money in the bank contract. So, I think maybe I can see why WWE want Sandow to lose, to maybe get him agitated and eventually cash in. That'll give him more of a surprise for when he does cash in. But I think Sandow really does need a win. Lately, he's been on a losing streak. <coughs> Excuse me since uh, he won the money in the bank, and I, I feel like um, it's not deserved, because there's no point in winning the brief briefcase in the first place. It's kind of the same thing that's happening to Wade Barber. But anyway, we'll, go, we'll get to the main card now. Uh, Curtis Axel beat our truth for the Intercontinental Championship, which is no surprise there. Um, oh, it was a good match, I thought. Could have been better. But ho hum, it was, like I said, it wasn't a good pay-per-view. Um, but by all means, check out, check everything out. Um, another match that caught my eye was the Rhodes family versus the Shield. I was I wasn't expecting much, but it turned out to be quite a good match, ending with the Rhodes family achieving the win, which is was which was kind of obvious was going to happen, because you would expect Cody and Goldberg to be working with WWE for a while. Um, it was a good match, check it out. But the fact that they the tag team. Champions lost. I feel, I feel like they should have won it instead of just getting a pinfall. I mean, kind of makes them look weak. So maybe in the next pay per view, Goldust and Cody will be challenging for the tag team titles. And I expect to win by them again to cause become champions. It gives them a push. It gives Cody a push. It makes him become a legitimate star like he's meant to be. Um, next up is the World Heavyweight Championship match. Um, Basically, I thought it was a good match with Albert Del Rio picking up the win. Um, I'm kind of glad that they did that. I don't think RBD deserved it. I was expecting Ricardo would be guess to screw over the, um, Rob Van Damme a bit, but it didn't happen. Maybe it'll happen sometime in the future. If they're me on Raw maybe tonight when... Um, they confront each other. If they confront each other, I, don't, I still don't even know. And it was a good match to check it out. Um, well, okay, uh, the Paul Heyman match, Paul Heyman guys match, sorry, with Ryback with right and CM Punk. CM Punk got a much needed win here, which meant Ryback right lost, which he lost another pay per view. Which, I don't even know what the tally is now, but it probably is around the 10 area of the amount of. Or what is most of the pay to use? Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right back needs to win it a bit. But let's just say that. But the how Punk won, he got he got a uh, um, lower hit. If you, let, you know what I'm saying? On right back when her him was distracting the referee. And um, it, it kind of makes. I'm not quite sure what to think of that because Punk was the face. Um, but yeah, well, well I'm not. Like I said, I don't, I don't know what to say about this pay-per-view, because I thought it was very poor. And the last, last match, which I was really disappointed in, was for the vacant uh, WWE Championship. 
between uh, Randy Orton and Daniel Bryan. This ended with a no contest when Big Show came in and KO'd both of them. Now, I think that was the wrong move personally. They need a WWE Champion. That's what's the point in the belt. This is probably going to lead, lead to a three-way match at Hell in a Cell, probably with the Big Show Orton and Daniel Bryan. Maybe this is actually Big Show joining the corpor new corporation after all. But as so once you said, Big Show has turned fully heel. Um, but um, we'll find out what, how the story is progressing raw tonight. Hopefully, get more insight into the Big Show storyline and things like that. Um, but yeah, basically, this is me for today. Enjoy raw, guys. I know I'm sure I will, unlike the pay per view, which I hated really. Um, but yeah, leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you thought of the pay per view. What could have been better? What could have been worse? And um, constructive criticism was always be helpful. Thank you, guys. This is Craven1092 out here. Enjoy your day.